We are Imperial Snacking. We do manufacture popcorn. Uh, we manufacture also uh, slush, uh, cotton candy. Uh, we distribute our products um, in uh, theaters, arena, uh, parks. And uh, the other part of our business that's growing very fast is the manufacturer. Popcorn is growing tremendously for us. It's all across Canada. We used to have plastic bag, and now we're going with a better quality bag. Uh, so this will have a better shelf life. It's a multi-laminate bag, and it's the highest quality bag on the market. You know, oxygen doesn't go in and uh, doesn't go out. So that gives us uh, freshness. We came up with this uh, new version, new packaging, new design of uh, popcorn. Uh, the designer came up with uh, the name French Cancan because we're French Canadian. People say Cancan, they relate this to people having like fun or a reunion. It's perfect for our product. They all have a different name. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we do uh, on Instagram, we're asking our, uh, our follower what, what is the, the name of the girl that you uh, like, like the, the most. most. It's interactive packaging, so that's, uh, that's very good for us. You know, I called some guys who had packaging machine and they referred me to uh, Waypack and uh, I called Waypack and Charles came up and uh, we did a deal, you know, and uh, since then we bought three machines. Primo Combi for scales and Expedius for uh, the bagger and uh, runs great. Yeah, it's a smooth machine, efficient, fast, very few problems with that, so that's, we're very happy about the machine. When we started the business, we used to do everything by hand. And the fact that we did everything by hand, we used to put way more product into our bags. We used to give away 30 to 40 grams of product more. And it was nice for the customer, but the fact that to be more efficient, we needed to find a packaging machine that had the combination of the scales that would be more precise and cost-wise for the company was the best thing for us to, to go with. And that's when we went and worked with Mark. And Mark introduced us to the Primo 360, the multi-scale system that would be more efficient. And the thing is for us, when we did a 360 gram product, uh, we were putting about five grams into the bag more compared to three to 40 grams. It saved us money, it even saved us time, and that's why we're happy to work with Mark. Uh, Service-wise, uh, I cannot complain because they really work hard with us to make us succeed in our business. We changed the actual package itself. Instead of PolyPro, we went to a, a metallic film that will expand the shelf life. And with the Expedius, it improved us to even produce faster and a lot quicker than we used to produce with the Zippy. With our Expedia 1700 servo-driven vertical form filling machine, you know, it produces a really nice bag in regards to what they were looking for from an aesthetic standpoint. What you're looking at is actually our packaging machine doing the movie star French car cam for the Costco. This was the ideal packaging that we work with for the French car cam. It's a vertical bagger, the Expedius from Wayback. What you're looking at is actually the packaging producing the vertical seal. And the idea for this packaging was to get a better quality product. Even the film that we used was a metallic film. Metallic film expands the shelf life of the product. Uh, the seal gives us, it's very efficient, gives us a good seal every time on the vertical and the horizontal seal. This machine right now could produce in between 10 to 20 bags per minute. Because of the product that we're using right now, because it's very light, and because of the time it takes from the scales to the former, we are producing right now 10 bags per minute. This is not the only product that we're using with that particular machine. We have different formats. This machine is user friendly. And what we did is we actually created different recipes for the different types of size of format that we're using for the production. What you're looking at is actually a Primo 360 scale from Wayback. 
And again, it's user friendly. It's easy for any of my employees to work with the machine. If they need to change recipes when we're changing product, very simple to do. They just close, stop the machine, change the recipe, bring it back in, and start, start the production. A camera on top showing us the product going into the center cone of the scale. What it tells us is the quantity that's coming and it will stop automatically with the proper weight on the center cone and it controls the whole line of the product. This will tell my line to stop giving any more product. It's so accurate, it's off about two to three grams of different per bag. Just great. We never had anything like this before. You're looking at the Primo 360 from the top of the mezzanine. Now, when you were looking at the camera downstairs on the actual screen, you were seeing the, the product going to, when I was talking about the center cone, this is the center cone. And this controls my whole line of product coming into the uh, scales. When it reaches the proper weight, the amount of weight going in, it will stop the line so it doesn't overflow. So for us, each scales that you can see, there's 14 scales, they're all adjusted differently in variables to give you the most accuracy onto the product. It's at the highest caliber. This gives us more efficiency, it increases the speed because it's smooth. Pushes the product through a lot faster with the vibration and all. And you, you can see there's 14 scale and it gives us the most accuracy in weight. One of the things or a couple of the things that we do to help Bob and the team over at Imperial is um, just direct communication with our team members in order to get them whether it's parts, immediate service, quick responses because at the end of the day we understand that our equipment is the lifeline to their business so their success at the end of the day is our success so we take that very seriously to make sure that uptime efficiencies are at its maximum and that we're performing you know as if it's our own business. We're very happy to work with uh, way back in Paxson and we're looking forward to, uh, for new equipment that is coming up in the following year because the, our company is growing. So what's coming next for our uh, Imperial snacking business is uh, we're, we have this, this nice product here that is only in the club stores and uh, we're coming with uh, two more size for uh, uh, convenience stores and, and, supermarket. and supermarket. Yeah, so uh, that's something that's coming. Uh, we have an 80,000 square foot That's warehouse, empty. and uh, that we want to, you know, we want to fill it. And uh, for sure, we're going to need more equipment to do that. So uh, I'm going to have to ask my uh, financier here uh, to buy more equipment from uh, Wayback and uh, more uh, popcorn equipment. Mm -hmm.